Got it. What a handsome little turd. Look at that. It's my handsome little turd. Get over here. How was dinner? Good. Yeah? It was good, a little bit of pizza, you know? Um, I think I'm gonna shave my head bald again. We might talk about it, we might not, I just might do it. But that's why this relationship is so great, because I don't always have to consult you on things. Oh, it's so cold. Surgery day. Hopefully this is the last surgery for a while. Uh, if not, that's okay. But hopefully. I can hear you. I'm really not sleeping. <laughs> This is an interesting story because it's not the whole story. It's just the recent events pertaining to it. And it's not entirely my story to tell. So I'll try and do it justice from my perspective. I know I'm affected by the course of events, but I've weathered the storm a few times over, and this is not the worst of it, which makes it a smooth introduction, I think. Medical pre-testing. Remember the surgical pre-testing? Went well. And the surgery? 11:24. Had some hiccups in the scheduling. The implants show. What happened? The date was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, so I guess it's not cold then, right? <laughs> it ended well. Post-op appointment goes well. Surgical drains removed. Three days later, we catch an infection. Um, as I walk in, I'm probably gonna catch a little wind noise. Hey, my man, your trunk's open. Hold on, let's help this guy out for a second. His trunk. Trunk's open. Oh, shoot. That's it. Do the right thing. Help people. Man was uh, about to back out and drive away, and his his trunk was open. And uh, that would have been maybe a bad day for him. <coughs> so you help him out. Walk over and close his trunk. Be good to each other. You only have what you do here. Take care of each other. It's real simple. A real, real simple creed. Back at the hospital uh, for what we believe is gonna be an infection. Her lack of lymph nodes due to cancer treatment make infection susceptibility and fighting more difficult than it is for others. So the result is likely a hospital admittance for a few days to make sure the IV medications work. We get a course of care to return home with the IV meds and that we avoid the infection worsening or spreading. I'm tickling you. Show them. It's tough having a little guy at home when this occurs, but he's well adjusted at this point, and we have a fantastic family dynamic since we're so close knit. Put him on the and his bike. sisters care for him like mothers. It still takes a toll, but we get through it. Nine o'clock, eight fifty-seven. Got here at eleven thirty. That's not too bad. Nine, nine and a half hours. Day two. Um, hopefully she's feeling better. Hopefully the antibiotics are doing their job. And hopefully we'll kind of have a you know, window when she might get out of here. 
One of the interesting perks of the dreaded restaurant life is the flexibility. It's unparalleled. I need to be available for my family, and I was. When she comes home, I can pick up as needed. Have a good night. Saturday, day three. Let's get it at work. I'm sorry. Lisa's gotta sleep with that all night. Last night was not good. She kept yelling for pudding all night. Leaving. Going home to the boy. I'm sorry. Mama's birthday. Mama's birthday. You love that mama? Yeah. Are we gonna have a party oh. for her when she comes oh. home? Yeah. Have a party for her, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, she'll love that. <laughs> you love that mama? Mm -hmm. She's pretty good, huh? That's the best mama you could ever have, huh? <laughs> Let's go shave my head. We'll do it. I don't know. You can help me. Come on. You like to. You get the stuff in the back that I can't get. Press it. You can't hurt me, I promise. Super Bowl Sunday. Lisa's birthday. Leave in the hospital. So you came in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, through Sunday. Today's the fourth day. It's, uh, it was her birthday, Super Bowl, you know, exciting things to be stuck in the hospital for. Um, I don't know. Slightly devoid of emotion right now because it sucks that that was her birthday. Like, I'll we'll celebrate another day, but. I don't know. I don't know. I'm left saying that a lot lately, and I don't like it. You already know what it is. Another day at the hospital. This time, we ran from Thursday to Monday. Right now, I finally realized there's a sign that says service personnel and employees only for this elevator. There's one to go. Going home. Pulling the car up so I can bring her home. She'll never let me get a shot of her getting out of the hospital. She'll kill me first. Uh, so you won't get that. That makes it hard to tell the story sometimes. But that's it. Thursday to Monday, baby. It was a close one too. We almost didn't get to go because she didn't get the pick line put in. What's the bottom line here? I think it's that normal is a moving target and I still have to come to accept that, but I'm trying. These situations are tough on us as a family, but we are fortunate to have the support system that we are to each other. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You know the love we have for our child and that we are reminded all too frequently of the volatility that life holds.
For those reasons, you should hold close the ones you love, because you might only have what you do here. Don't squander it. If that means being in hot pursuit of your dreams, do that. If that means loving others with all that you are, do it. Because these past few days could have been so different. My new normal could have been that of a single parent, or so many other things. Love and pursue as vehemently as you can, before you can't.